Hey, I'm Andy, and we're back with 1001 Games and Bar after a long while. Uh, just didn't really get the itch to play, like, retro games, and I've been busy with other games that were uh, releasing at the time, and, like, older games that I want to play as well, but uh, I had that itch again, so might as well play the play some more. Last we left off, we did Oil Pro and uh, Nightmare 3D, so... We'll just go down the list of the Windows games. We still have a ton of things to go through, but uh, we're going to do them one at a time, or a few at a time, as with all these videos. But next up is the Object Orientation game. Sounds exciting. <laughs> so let's see if it runs. And if it runs, how will it play? Oh, I missed the, the UI of... The old school windows. It's been so long. Install dirt. Let's do install. All right. Apparently, this gives us thirty a thirty day trial, which is fine. Hopefully, it gives us the execute uh, the exe file. Installation complete. Okay. MCM Productions. Okay. Uh, we'll do Visitor. Uh, number one, the square. Oh, I, I see. It's it's this this one's a tangram, so we have to make uh, this square. I think. I think I know how. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. But how do I? How do I rotate? Oh, there we go. Oh wow, it, it does like many angles too. Huh. Okay. Oh, this this might actually be a little bit tricky. <laughs> maybe maybe we have to do it like this. And do it like this. But then we have some that we can't really place. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't really want to take that much time, but it seems like it works. Let's do. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. Uh, anonymous U. So I guess it's this. It's a square, but then you have the parallelogram missing. Okay. So I would think that that would be one like this then with this we can go oh oh we can't even flip it can we yeah I don't think we can flip it or maybe, maybe we don't have to maybe we should just like that oh, why do I think we can flip it <laughs> All right, so let's rotate this so it's that way. And I'm pretty sure we can... No, actually, that, I don't think that works. Or maybe it does. Yeah, that works, that works. Then we can go like this, and we got to the corners right here. All right, we solved one. Oh, look at that confetti. <laughs> oh, that, that old school confetti. Admire your solution a little longer. Okay. We can also say, oh, let's just go. And, well, we already see what we can do with this. It, it did say it can do more. Uh, I get, oh, never mind. Uh, tenograms, pentominoes, and hexagons, all in a single app. All right. So, I mean, Ed, if, if you like puzzle games, then that works. <laughs> Like, it's pretty basic, but I mean, a lot of the games on here are very, very basic or clones of other games, so take that what you will. Um, but yeah, it works, and it does what it said it would do, although it was like a 30-day trial, but yeah. Um, let's go to Paddle.
All right, so let's see. Paddle Battle is a two-player game for for Windows in which you must knock the ball into your goal. I mean, we we don't have two players right now, but well, I mean, we'll install it and see how well we can do with one. I I don't think there's gonna be AI, but let's just see. Hit to run. You have you have successfully installed Paddle Battle. Double click on its icon. It's okay. Where is Paddle? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a little. Oh, it still has like something. I don't know why this is like a bug from because it's it has the same layout as the Telegram one. It's like a little bit glitchy. Let's spacebar to continue. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I guess it glitched out or something. Huh. That is strange. Uh, paddle. Okay. Let's try, let's try to, no, no, I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, we tried it, and it didn't work. Let's go down to the next one, then. Lots of fun. Try and solve it. Paz.lzh is a puzzle game for Windows. The object of the game is to move a yellow block out through the gap with at least, or with the least number of moves. It may seem simple, but it actually requires some, uh, I would assume it will say some skill. I mean, I, I played, I think I played this puzzle like in a, in a physical form where you're trying to get like a taxi out and it's like a parking lot. But it was like toy cars and it was, it was pretty fun. Oh, but this is very, this is much more basic than that. So let's see. Let's see, we can do that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no, I want to move it down. There we go. So you, you, you can't, you have to like click on the direction of the of the I guess the direction you want to go on this on the on the shape which is really hard in a window this small so let's go here so then we can move this blue stuff up so yeah it is similar to the parking lot game that I played but let's see I'm probably gonna mess this up but uh, so you want this this way maybe? Like the goal is to move the green over, I think. Or I might just be totally wrong here. And we can do it like this. Move the green over, and that did nothing. <laughs> okay, so I think what we have to do is I think we need to keep the green up. Oh, this is like this is a little bit more challenging. <laughs> and then do it like this. Keep the green. Oh no, then then we're all stuck. Okay, I am. I'm actually terrible at this. <laughs> Hmm, I mean we can, oh this, this is the beginner one as well. Uh, so let, let's let's restart this. So we have to get the yellow block out. So we can only move the blue once for now. So if we do like this, we can rotate we can rotate it like this. I don't know. I don't think that's right though, but. Okay. So we did, we did this. <laughs> uh, I feel I, I'm, I'm definitely doing this wrong, but at least we got the greens down, right? That, that's what matters. Maybe. Perhaps. Let's see. 
So that that's just completely stuck. So we can do like this. Like it's also hard because you you can actually you can accidentally misclick, and it'll just change direction. All right. So we brought this down so we can bring this red over. Cool. All right, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna give this like another minute or so. I feel like I'm getting somewhere, but I also don't at the same time. Maybe we actually need this down. No, this is, I think we have to do it like this. So we can move that red piece up. And now we have to move this green piece over, I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> So like if I was a kid, which was around the time when I actually got the CD of this game, I, I feel like I would have spent hours and hours on like this simple a simple game like this. So we got the greens all the way down, but we still have the issue of the yellow square still being all the way up. <laughs> All right, so now it's back at the center. I don't know, probably not a good idea. Oh, well, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> um, yeah, it works. So I don't know what it was called. Pa pass on LCH. Sure. Let, let's try. It. I guess this the, this part's really puzzle heavy. Um, the next one, PC Fortune, uh, is a fortune cookie program that displays a fortune at random from its database of from its database for over 2500 that's not a lot because it says over 2500 fortunes quote sayings jokes a different item is selected each time so sure i feel like 2500 is not a lot like uh, you can run I, I don't know how to calculate it but i feel like you can just run into the same ones very quickly. I mean, I guess it depends on how much you use it as well. There's an easy answer to your problem that is neat, plausible, and wrong. What? <laughs> wrong. I mean, I guess technically if you answer every question on a test wrong, it can be easy. Just like answer it quickly. It'll be wrong, but I guess it's easy. Sure. Oh, well, watch it again, or launch it again. A private sin is not so pre prejudicial in the world as a public indecency. I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> then again, like, this was, when was this released? It was for Windows 1.01, .01, so different times, maybe. I mean, that was not, not I don't, that's not, I mean, I guess that considers as part of the more of the 1001 games. And... All right, let's, I guess this one is the last one. Uh, yeah, this seems like an actual game. Uh, Perry Dog Hunt Pro, the third and, but uh, The third and best in the award-winning Prairie Dog series. So, okay, there's more than one of these games? Sure. Let's try it. Okay, what is that logo? <laughs> Select settings for new game options. And I click the welcome sign to start a new game. We'll do one minute zoom on. Sure. Welcome. Oh. Oh, that is like so kind of gruesome. <laughs> Can I shoot the bird? I don't know if I can shoot the bird or not. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> oh, we can move. So what we, oh, I guess we have to click on the reload to reload. 
Okay. I want to shoot the bird. Oh, I... <laughs> shoot the bird. Okay. I can see this, like... There, there has to be a Flash game of this somewhere, right? I mean, back when Flash was a thing. Or back when Flash games were a thing. This has to be... This has to be like a Flash game. Oh, I'm... It's so hard to aim, though. Okay, you have a high score. 1,081, I guess... I, I didn't notice though. I didn't know I didn't notice how many points I got for the bird, but that must have done it. <laughs> I don't know what like if this is pretty dark on pro, what's the not pro version? But yeah, that was that was actually pretty fun. Like, all things considered. But like I said, uh, I this was like a full I, I mean You can say this about like I wanna say like half of the games on this C D but it's like Flash games before Flash games was a thing. So yeah, that was. I mean, even even the the logo, the thumb, or not thumbnail, but the icon for it is kind of <laughs> comically gruesome in a way. But yeah, that was that was a uh, that was a batch. I'll I'll probably try and do more uh, of these more often than like once every couple of months. But yeah, we did. The object orientation game with the tanagrams, which this plus the pass.lzh, I can see as a kid, this would eat up so much time. <laughs> and then paddle installed, but didn't work. PC Fortune is what it is, it just gives you a random saying, uh, or saying a random fortune, so... It works. <laughs> and then Prairie Dog Hunt Pro. I don't know what the other two were before this, but the third and best in the award winning Prey Dog series. 360 degrees of freedom. But yeah, uh, very mixed bag. But like I said, uh, the puzzle games can uh, take up a lot of time if you're into those types of puzzles. So, And Prairie Dog too. Uh, trying to get the highest score, trying to outdo yourself from the previous realm. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.